Good evening everyone. Hello and welcome to another stream. who we have in chat. Good evening, Corsair. Good evening, Sadar. And good evening, Adalan. How have you guys been doing? Hopefully good. I thought it would be nice to have this song play in the back for a bit. Now to decide what body thinking I need coffee but also saying I want heat give me tea this doesn't work together. Overall good. I feel cold though somehow. That's cold here too, Sadar. It's cold here too. Good evening, Kaori. Buenosera, as always. Good evening, Vederlicht. Guten Abend. You guys can see a little bit of a sneak peek already on the on the mate screen. Uh, what Bowser is holding up. That's actually the very first uh, little, well, cutscene, quote unquote, of the game. The game doesn't even have a proper proper title screen, but well, there you go. I'm Asian, I've had Chinese food. Oh, what did you have? I love Chinese food. Yep, one guy. It says right there in the copyright. Michael W. Lawrence, back in 1994. A wild underprophagus appears. Good evening, sir. instinct too soon you know it's been almost three years now two and a half actually since we played Legend of Dragoon still seems like yesterday huh two two and a half years I think yeah it's about two years I guess I think it was March 2019 or something that we played that. La, 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 
Good evening, Eidolon. Good evening, Pico, as well. Well, it's almost two years. We're getting there. Yeah, it took like two months to clear. I think it's about right, like from March until June or something, or July. I can easily check if I go to my YouTube channel, but I'm too bored, or too lazy. One more tune and we're gonna start. For Levitz, yes, for Levitz. If you have a water bottle, or if you have coffee, or if you have, well, anything, Raise a glass in honor of our boy Levitz. Never too, never too soon, never too late. the whole bottle to share. <laughs> yeah, it does feel shorter. Yeah, but that's what you get when you have such a fantastic game like Legend of Dragoon. It really sticks with you for a long, long time. I'm sure all of you have at least one game you played and you had such a phenomenal experience with it that it still feels like yesterday you played it the first time. Maybe I shouldn't name one of my future Pokemon Levitz. Hey, you could. You could. I hear my glass. Aw. Four Levitz, indeed. SMRPG Mr. Goninja, both really good games. Uh, which one, Cody? You mean the 64 one? Because there's a lot of Mr. Goninja games. There's some games that make you feel sad they end. Yeah, I had that with... Um, I had that with Okami, I had that with Final Fantasy X, actually, because I spent so long on it. And... I had it with Dragon Quest XI, I spent nearly 250 hours on it. Oh, and Xenoblade, speaking of which, Xenoblade as well. Usually the long RPGs get me, though. <laughs> Oh, the N64 games. Yeah, they're good, they're good. I'll have lots of coffee soon. Good, good. Get warm, everyone. Get warm. The first video was 8 July. Well, I usually uh, upload them after the playthrough ended on Twitch. So, I think the playthrough was like somewhere between like, I don't know, April or May up until June or late, or late June something, yeah. Because it took like two months to clear the game, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's enough music on this end. Um, now I have to minimize this, and I have to go here, and I have to open up my door scene. And I see the webcam has to be a little bit higher. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Um, I already did this, so I have to open up, and yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Past me, put down a little disclaimer that yes, I have to lower the main output because this game does not have volume control and it tends to get kind of loud in the music department. So, 
It's on 80% now. I'm lowering it to 55. It's probably way too low, but you guys can let me know because the music tends to be a little loud. But okay, at least you guys won't get blown away now. Yeah, that's just... I, I literally wrote that down myself to myself so I wouldn't forget. Kind of silly, right? Right. Um, Let's see. Mount CD Games. DOS. And then CD new it. Right. Let me rechat real quick. Actually, I need Twitch chat back. Where are you? There you are. It's going to snow. Oh, like five centimeters. Well, that's a lot compared to what we got last year and the year before and the year before and the year before. Oh, you can't check them on Twitch. That's true. That's true. Right, I'm going to start the game. If the music is too loud, please let me know. I lowered the volume a lot. Maybe it's too low now. Just let me know. Here we go. Not too loud, not too soft. Because I lowered it quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I have to get Discord open because I need to see the names of the party that we have. Uh, uh, got them. Yeah, it's a beautiful MIDI. Um, right. Uh, start. Yes. Sounds perfect. Okay, okay. Sounds fine. Okay, good, good, good. Right, so we have to make a party. I'm looking at uh, Discord and... Actually, I'm going to create. The first one is Steve. Because the first character you create gets three levels. The others get two. And the reason I'm doing that is because Steve has a skill called Trading. Which basically means if we upgrade that more than the other two, that we get a higher trading skill, which means we get more money early. And you all know how important money is early on. So the first character we are creating is a male thief. A male elf thief at that. Uh, elf. Yes. Um, we want agility, we want strength. Constitution. These two are not that important. Preservation is for uh, resistance to status effects. Memorization is not needed at all. And reading is not needed at all either. So, no. We're just gonna roll a bit. Everyone who has played D&D or something similar knows that we have to go for good rolls. That we need good stats on strength, agility, con, basically. Those are the main three for this character. Crappy agility. Oh, this is fine, actually. This is okay. Um, yeah, I can live with this. So, don't need high strength. We do, however, need a bit more agility. Can't hurt to have a bit more con. Um, the rest is fine. Guess a bit more agility. Yep. We are thief, so um, we don't need whiz. Well, if it increases a stat, no, it's fine. We can't decrease these, so uh, memory reading, nope. Um, con? Nope. Okay. Then strength. Sure. And thief. Right. So, here we have all the skills for a character. I'll go over them real quick. Pick locking obviously opens up locks. Disarm trap, disarm traps. Deadly strike is a chance to kill a unit instantly. Trading to earn money. Earn armed combat is only useful if you can transform yourself into a, well, creature or demon. Handheld for swords and knives and everything in the hands. Bows, obviously. Item identify is for identifying items. That's usually for a mage. 
Uh, runes, to read runes, detect traps to find them. Fortification is defense, spell points. Perception is to find hidden stuff. Mythic lore to analyze creatures to find their weaknesses. Evasion, spell list is only available if you have a scroll, uh, if you have a, a spell list. And woods lore and mountaineering are only useful in the outdoors because if you go through woods or if you go through mountain, it costs time. And if it costs less time, then you travel more efficiently and that has an impact on when you hire people, it costs money every like, I don't know, every month or something. So if you can spend less time in the outdoors, you basically save money on when you have to pay them. But that is not really important because you don't travel an awful lot in the beginning of the game. Um, what we are going to do though is trading and deadly strike. We need some pick locking, we need some disarming, some detecting, some defense, we need some perception, attack evasion, and we're not going to do unarmed. Um, I think this is fine. Right, not a lot of choices, I know. We picked the male thief. So, A or B, what do you guys want to do for our male thief? A or B for our portrait for the male, for the male thief. Yeah, Deadly Strikes is really good once we get that going. Lockpicking is a requirement in this game. Otherwise, you can't even clear certain quests. I got one B, I got one A, another B, I want an A. Anyone else? A or B? And then we'll roll with that. B, B. I see more Bs now. Alright, going with B. Uh, pick locking, disarm, deadly strike, trading. Trading is really important early on, because if we don't have money, we can't afford our extra characters. And detect trap, yes. Uh, pick locking, disarm, deadly strikes, trading, handheld bow. You may notice that the amount of skill points you you get every level is random. It's not really random. It's because when you first start the game, you are training in a so-called adventurer's guild, which is just a generic adventurer's guild. You also always get random skill points. But there are actually specific training spots in the game. If we take the thief to a thief's guild, you get the maximum amount of skill points to fill in later. So when we go level them, you always want to take them to their specific guilds. So that's why the beginning seems kind of mad since you can't fill out all your skills, but I think it's also done on purpose because otherwise you would be a bit too OP in the beginning, maybe. Time to make our paladin, Lawrence. Yes, I spelled that right, I spelled that right. Boom. Human. Yes? Yes. Okay. Paladin needs mostly strength and con. Can't hurt to have a bit of wisdom, and the rest is optional. So let's see. He doesn't need that much agility. Um, this is actually pretty... Well, wisdom is kind of low. It does need a bit of wisdom because Paladin actually has some spell points. So having a bit of wisdom can't hurt. Um, con is way too low. Um, this is fine. Let's go for this. So, Paladin needs to have quite a bit of strength. Yep. Con is fine. A bit of wisdom can't hurt. Poof, 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 poof. Oh, bit. Well, let's do it like that. And then... Oh, a bit more con. Um... Can I increase that one value higher? No, okay. Um, don't need intelligence. Memorization is not needed. Preservation, actually. A bit more resistance to... Yeah, a bit more resistance to status effects. And I guess some more strength. Okay. We chose Paladin. Yep. Alright, as you can see, Paladin has a way different skill tree. 
It has lots and lots of handheld combat, which is important. And as you can see, spell points. Wow, we have two spell points! Woohoo! Don't worry, they increase with level and you can get certain items for them later. Um, we do no more bow. We don't need those. Perception can't hurt. Mythic lore is not really needed for them. We also don't need these. Um, well, I guess we'll go fill in these. And... Oh, mythic lore is useless on these guys. I guess unarmed. Alright. Not a whole lot of choices again. But... Male Paladin. A or B? B A A A There's no a C is a girl. <laughs> you silly man. B A A A C. Okay, we're going for A. Uh, bow fortification spell points perception attack evasion uh woods lore mountaineering can't hurt unarmed and uh, ha nothing really useful. I guess a little uh, meh, doesn't really matter. Ah, mythic lore doesn't care. Okay, and the third one, the last one we can create ourselves. Can we do fun uh, funny symbols? No, we can't do funny symbols. I'm sorry, uh, Corsair. Is Kala fine then? Because I can't make the funny A. It won't let me. It's an old DOS game. What do you expect? <laughs> So, Kala, the mage, a hobbit mage, actually. So, for mage, obviously, agility can't hurt. We want int, we want whiz, we want memory, and we want reading. It's all important. So, mostly int, whiz, memory. Those four are important for a mage. Especially memory. I'll explain in a sec why. Um, no, whiz is way too low. Um, no, reading is too low. Um, ba 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 bum ba bum. Reroll, reroll, reroll. Uh, reading is too low. Wisdom is too low. Int is too low. I know I'm asking a lot, but it's it's kind of required. Um, this is actually fine. Okay. Let's bump up that memory, because that is important. I'll s tell you in a sec why. Okay, we want to increase reading. That in that is also important for a mage. Um, we want to increase wisdom. And we want to increase intelligence. Actually, a fair high amount of con for a mage, but that's fine. These are some good stats. Alright. We have a choice. And I'm gonna say right now, it doesn't really matter what we pick out of the four mage classes, which are Elementalist, Sorcerer, Mentalist, and Conjurer. All four of them have the exact same role, it just differs with what magic school you're starting out, but everyone can learn every magic school. So it's just a personal preference. Would you like to start with elemental magic? With g generic magic? With uh, mind magic? Or with conjure magic? Like summoning scrolls and summoning spells. So it's just a personal preference. Elemental, sorcerer, mentalist, or conjurer. Which one is the most challenging? They're actually all pretty good. It really is a personal preference. They're all equal. They're all good. It's just what you start with is different. You have to play differently with all of them, but they're all good. One conjurer, one elementalist, one mentalist. Another conjurer, mind, another mentalist. So we get two mentalists, 
Two conjurers, one elementalist. I need at least one more vote. Anyone else? Element, sorcerer, mentalist, or mind, or conjurer. Mind. We're going for the mentalist then. Right, right. Mentalist. Okay. So, the most important thing for a mage is spell list. And this is why memorization is so important. I'll explain it real quick. Every time you level, you can put in points into a spell list. And you can look at it like is he's taken an exam to learn a school of magic. If he succeeds, he gets to keep a list of magic. If he fails, he has to go back and level up again to try learn again. So the only way to learn new magic is to take the exam every time you level and try to memorize your, le your list. If you fail, you don't have enough magic at the end to win the game. So that's why memorization is so high, because the higher your memorization, the more likely it is that you learn new spells every time you level. So we need item identification and we need rune reading. I guess an arm, a handheld is okay. Mythic lore is fine. Right. Okay. As you can see, we have a 40% chance to learn chronometry or transmogrification. I'm gonna tell you right now that the only spell list in the game required to learn, uh, required to beat this game, is elements. The, everything else is optional, but it's all really, really useful. So, what do you guys want to learn first? Chronometry and transmogrification have the highest skill, uh, have the highest, uh, have the highest chance to learn. So, just pick one. Good evening, Aurora. Yeah, this is... Well, it's not a really hard RPG, it's just you have to... There's a, like a, a, a big learning curve for this. It's not too bad once we get to actually start playing the game. Transmog, transmog, C. Let's go for transmog. Failed. Um, apparently female hobbit mages don't exist. I was for sure thinking there would be female hobbits, but the guy didn't care. So, well, that's unfortunate. So, A or B? <laughs> First fail of the game. And he's like almost identical, just this different cloak. At least he looks like a hobbit. There is no D under Bifagas. White Hobbit or not White Hobbit, I know. AA, okay, we're going for A. And handheld, item identification, rune reading, poor fortification, spell points, mythic lore, attack evasion, spell lists, and perception. So, as you can see, now we have, we did the exam, Everything went up, and the amount that it increases is depending on your memory skill. So now we can either try the same school again, or a different one. What would you guys like to try to learn? Good evening, Magu! Transmog, transmog again. Yep! Obtained! So that's an extra spell list we start with, which is good. <clears throat> the old vizier greets you with open arms and tells you he is glad you have come to him. If anything is to be done for your father, we must act now. I do not believe your father is responsible for the child's kidnapping. 
My sources tell me magic was involved, possibly dark magery. Your father mentioned something to me about an evil cult. Even though the king has forbidden me to interfere in affairs of state, I have been doing some research on this cult. I cannot act directly, and therefore will need some help. Are you willing to assist me in vindicating your father? Yes, of course. And who is taking the item? Lawrence is the main guy, so... My research has led me to believe that this evil cult has some dark plan in motion. I need to locate an old book called Prophecies of Doom, which supposedly details the cult's plan. Go see Harmon, a merchant in the warehouse district. He supposedly knows where a copy of this book is kept. When you have found the book, bring it to me. Go now, friends. And Godspeed. Alright, I have to do something here, so as you can see, start game, we did that, so the story first quest is Prophecies of Doom book, and I'll keep track of everything we have to do in here, so that we know at all times what we have to do. Alright, I'm gonna put Lawrence here in the front, and we're gonna put the thief there and the mage there, and our formation is okay. Um, first I'm going to save the game, yes. Okay. And now I have to go to Kelly, uh, Kelsey here, and pool all the money, because he's the one that has to do all the buying and selling. And, um, this game doesn't have a controller, obviously, I have to use the numpad of all things. The numpad and the mouse is how you control this game. So the first thing I have to do is we have to fill up our party. So we are going to get a cleric. Luckily, there is a temple right here. Oh. You see a picture on some text on a poster. Missing since May 12th. Father Gimmon. Last seen near the cemetery on the evening of the 11th. The church is offering a 100 gold coin reward for any information on the whereabouts of the set priest. Anyone with information should present themselves to the High Cleric. So we have a, already a first side quest. We have a missing priest near the cemetery. Okay. We should get a cleric. So recruit and we need to get someone low level. And we only... well, it's got to be Marcus then. Because the other two are way too high and therefore way too expensive. And if you have someone who is higher level than you are in the party, it will cost you buckets of gold. So we want to take our little low Marcus into the... into the... into the stuff. Uh... Hi... uh... Hire... you. 50 gold a week. Yeah, that's fine. Poof! And now we have our fourth member, the Cleric. Well, cleric is also really important, uh, obvious reasons we need a healer, so, alright. Now, we could get more members, but more on that later, we first have to equip, because we're not gonna fight with our bare hands. I mean, not a good idea, right? How much movement do we have? 8, 9, 8, 12, perfect, okay. So, what you can do is you can look, uh, click on this, and you can actually see that this is an armory shop. So, oh, uh, L, I think. Was it L? Oh, escape. Okay, I have to get used to the controls a bit. It's been ages since I've played this game. So, we're gonna buy some, well, we just want minor things that don't cost too much money. Like a broadsword. That's good for a paladin. Um, plus plus is way too expensive. Okay. Um, I think Kelsey can also use a broadsword. And then, like, something simple, like a male coat. Um, I have to check something. Can elves use these? Ah, yeah, that's right. I'm not sure if that is lore or anything, but elves cannot use anything metal in this game on their hands. That might be lore, because I've played other games where that was a thing. They can't use metal on their body, only leather or hide. And the mage obviously can't use much, since it's a mage. It can't use heavy armory, so we have to find another uh, shop. 
I think there's another store here. Trading post. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Leather jacket. We need two of those. Um, crossbow. Yes. And I guess another crossbow. Um, quarterstaff is for the mage. Um, a small shield. Two of them. Leather boots. One, two, three, four. Actually, we need another quarterstaff for the cleric. Uh, we need a lantern. Uh, lockpick kit. Okay. Pardon me, this may take a while, but it's required. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere. Crossbow, small shield, leather boots. As you can see, our defense is going up by giving all these items. So, leather jacket goes to you. The crossbow goes to you. The small shield goes to you. The quarter staff goes to you. Leather boots goes to you. Leather boots goes to you. And lockpick kits. Oh, we keep this actually. Uh, you can keep the lantern. Uh, the quarter staff to you. And who doesn't have leather boots? I think it was you. So, oh, equip the lockpick kit. And equip, equip, equip. And that and that. And leather jacket, quarter staff, leather boots. Okay. Um, are we good? Does the jacket, crossbow, small shield. I guess it's okay for now. It's not really amazing, but it's something. Also, this game <laughs> doesn't have any pants because you only get like cloaks and jackets and boots and gauntlets and helmets, but no pants. So the lore in this game is that they don't wear pants. <laughs> oh, I need a leather jacket for him. Uh, leather jacket. Whoop. Okay. Leather jacket. And, oh, equip. Okay. Okay. Now, here is probably gonna be the hardest question for entire chat. I'm gonna save real quick. Save. Yep. So, we need two more party members. And as you can see, we have a tank, we have a thief, we have a mage and a cleric. We are lacking offense. We can get two more characters, and you can choose between Ranger, you can choose between Ashikari, which is like a self-buffing warrior, a regular fighter, or a Bard. Pick two of those, because we're going to get those before we do anything else, we need a full party. Ranger, Bard, Ashikari, Fighter. Ranger and Bard seems to win quite a bit. Alright, alright, we're going out. We're gonna pick up the Bard is actually not that far. The Ranger is quite far. I'm on the overworld now. I have to save here because this overworld kicks my butt if I'm not careful. The Bard is right here. It's not too far. I think it was right here. Yeah, is this the Bard College? No, it's the Entertainers. Wait, this is the Bard College, right? Yeah, Songs and Lore. Okay, okay, yeah, this is the Bard. Okay, we have to pick the level, the lowest level one. Well, that's Thomas. This is the lowest one. Seven and six is too high, so we're gonna get Thomas, the uh, Bard. All right, higher. Poof. 75 a week, okay. So now we have Thomas the Bard. Bard goes here, I said. Bard goes there. Yep. And he does have magic. How do you cast again? Was it C? Yeah, it's C. So, I want to say right now, I have never used a Bard successfully in this game. I don't know how they work. But thankfully, there is a guide. F1. And you can scroll all the way down to spells, and it explains how they work. Like, this is a... There's some way you can check that, it's fine. But yeah, 
Um, I can probably tell from most of these what they do, and it's actually a bit of trial and error, because I know that um, so most of these, like most parts in games, they are like buffs. So, Hum of Distraction is probably lower evasion, Ballad is above, Soothing of the Savage Beast is above, Anthem is above, Him is above, and Lullaby is that you can put everything to sleep on the, on the, on the battlefield. So, most of these make sense, but some of these are a bit tricky, but we'll figure out what they do. So now we have a Bart, and now you guys want me to cross like literally half the world map to find a ranger, because there's only one ranger guild and it's like quite far away. If we if we fight anything on the way, we will die a horrible death. So hopefully we can get it without getting hit. Like it's I know where it is, but it's kind of far. But it will be worth it, because having six is important. It is here. I think it's there. Well, we didn't get attacked somehow. Was it this one? This might be it. No. It's the other town. It is... That one. This is the Rangers Guild, I think. Out Outriders, I think so? Tracker. Yeah, Tracker. These are, yeah, these are rangers. Yep, okay. Who do we get? Level 3, level 7, level 6, level 5. Alright, we're kicking Fossilis. Well, that's a nice name. Fossilis. But, okay. He's the only low-level ranger, so we're getting the low-level ranger. Yep, okay. And cast. Yep. Nature's Shade, Nature's Form, Woods Law, Oak Skin. He has some healing, too. And... He can snare enemies so they stay in place, and eventually, late in the game, he can even become a wolf or a bear. And that's kind of fun. But that's like late level, you need high spell points for that, but it's pretty cool. Um, this is fine. And formation, we kind of, I guess, well, this is the best one. So now we have a full party! But we have to, we have to put some, uh, we have to put some, well... We have to put some equipment on our bard and our ranger. I didn't check actually, but our bard is an elf and our ranger is a human. So sadly, we have no dwarves in the party this time. Oh well, can't have them all. Now we gotta go back to the first little uh, town and then we have to equip them. And then we can start doing some side quests and killing stuff. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead! Run! Run! Thank you. Thankfully I could run away. Orcs are killer early on. So, you can't really level incredibly hard in this game. There is really no grinding in this game. Um... Because we are like level 2 or 3 right now. Uh, Ratman is also a nope. That is... well... The party has surprised. Okay, then we can hopefully run away. Thank you. We don't want to fight out here. The trees are annoying. They're in the way. But as I was uh, as I was saying, the maximum level your party can get is like 14 or 15. Okay, we made it back safely. Cool. But levels are not quick in this game. You have to fight quite a bit to earn them. But if you get a level up, it's quite a lot. You get like... 10 in a stat or something. It's 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 a lot. It feels rewarding when you level up, I was gonna say. So, um... So, Thomas is an elf. He can't use metal. But Fossil... Fossilis... That name... That's gonna break me. That name is annoying. But he can wear... Metal. So we can get a coat for him. And... We need a... Sword... Two swords... Okay. Okay, give the broadsword to you, give the broadsword to you, give the mill coat to you. And... Equip the broadsword and the mill coat. And equip the broadswords. Now we just need some boots and stuff. And then we can, I think we can pick up one more side quest here. And then we'll go to the graveyard. That's the first dungeon. In the beginning of the game, you really have to do two specific dungeons in the first town 
Everything else is way too hard, but once we open up, once we get a little bit more experience in, we can actually choose the order. The game is pretty much open world after the first town, which is, in my opinion, kind of amazing that the game allows you to just go anywhere. But, of course, you can't do anything, but you can go wherever you like. The game doesn't stop you. Uh, leather jackets, I need a crossbow. Well, I, I think, yeah, a crossbow for our fossils. I have to check the bow skill on the Bart, if he has any. Um, a small shield, two of them. Uh, leather boots, two of them. Okay. Yeah, I know the beginning is kind of dull. But, trust me, this game, at least I hope so, will grow a bit on you guys. It's just a slow start, we have to, like, equip the whole team and such. Uh, small shield, leather jacket, boots. What is your bow skill? Oh, bow skill's actually pretty good. 28, so we're getting another... We're getting another bow user. Why not? The bard with a crossbow. Imagine that. Boom. Okay. I think we're good for the first dungeon. We only have like 1,000 gold left. We need some expenses in case someone gets diseased. So now it's time to look at all the spells we have. Lawrence, the Paladin. Most of these are self buffs like Power of Almighty, Omnipotent Glory, Divine Unity. Those are all power ups. Uh, the Lay on Hands is Healer, Holy Strike, those are like, those are all mostly just, a Paladin mostly has um, buffs for himself, and a Paladin is specifically designed to kill undead and demons quickly. And, well, demons are not in the picture for a long while, but undead are quite... Quite a lot there, so it really helps to have a paladin early on. Let me see. Uh, what, the ranger? What does the cleric have? Cleric has... Uh, two... Uh, it gets three in the end, but... Healing! Uh, healing, cure disease, cure poison, healing, healing, resurrection. And this is all for... Um, undead and demons. And there's a third one he doesn't have yet. And then our mage... You know, typical mage light, enchanting, illumination, cancel, magic. And these are changelings, which will not be used early, but will be useful very late in the game for sure. And these are like mental clarity, domination is kind of funny if it works. Then there's second sight, which allows you to see hidden stuff. Then there is Shazubanel's coma, which is... You know, fun to put something in a coma. And then there is mass domination, which basically means if it works, you get to see the entire battlefield, all the enemies attacking each other. So there's a lot of fun stuff you can do. Um, I think, well, I have to do this. That's another quest we can pick up. You are greeted by a well-dressed middle-aged man. Now I was told to expect you. I hope you can help me, and in turn I can help you. A uh, favor for a favor, after all, is the way of the world. Uh, I have never been one to give anything for you for free. What must we do? I am glad you have agreed to my terms. I wish for you to retrieve something for me. It is a treasured keepsake of little monetary value, but uh, I treasure it. A painting of my now deceased wife was stolen from my home while I was away on business. I wish for you to find it and return it to me. My sources tell me that the band of thieves are living in a section of uh, the old city which is now buried. I believe the entrance can be found in the south central area of the city. If you search in that area, I believe you can find it. When you have the painting, come back, and I will tell you about the book. Alright. So, we have a new side quest. Let's put that in there. Boop, 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 boop. Um, lost painting. I can remove this, because I know I have to do that every time. Okay. I think we're finally ready to just do stuff, because I'm sorry this game takes a while to get going. There's a lot of prep work you have to do, but I think all of you who have played an RPG know that if you don't if you don't equip your party, or if you have a crappy party, then you will probably not get very far. So at least we are, for now, at least good to go. Also, I never checked. What are their heights? Lawrence is 7'5", 
foot. Wait. No, that's not seven foot, is it? Seven three? Hmm. Wait. Is that, if, if that's seven foot, that's two meters. That's kind of big. No, that's not seven foot. That can't be seven foot. It's two... No. Okay. I was about to say, are these giants? No. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's... No, it's not inches either. I'm not sure what that is. It is inches? Wow. Oh, it is inches. Good evening, Ra. When you start an RPG and don't spend at least two hours in character creation, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I guess. Equipment screens and character screens and other letters make sense. Right, let's go into the graveyard. Uh, poof! And we can't see a thing, so is it I for item? No. Oh! Skeletons! Um. You have mythic lore, right? Monster lore, yeah. Carry disease. Okay. Well, let's put you away. And you are the thief. You can try to hit them. Well, oh, that did something. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Uh, shoot. Delivers an annoying breeze. You're gonna see that a lot. One. Yes, they are. As you can see, those two just died. Which is good. Not enough spell points. Um, well, that doesn't really work. Then we'll just enter. You are ranger, so you're supposed to shoot. But the more you level, the more uh, attacks you get. But of course, your accuracy is kind of dumb early on. Repulsion one. Okay. Nope. I'm a ranger. Get away from me. Thank you. And nope. Okay. Um item you had the lantern. Okay. Zombies. Um, I'll just wait here. Sometimes it's best to just wait in the corner. Oh, not too far. Well, you can try bow shooting, I guess. But the far, the, the, the further they are away, it's harder to hit them. Um, M for monster lore. It doesn't say. If your monster lore is high enough, you can actually see what category they are in. But I think they are repulsion one is still. Yep, I killed three of them. So the repulsion and the exorcism skills are uh, magic that sometimes uh, insta-kills monsters of, of that category, which is not bad. Oh, nice fatal strike. Well, I'm not coming to him. I'm just going to shoot him in the... Well, I can't have a bow. That's right. I mean, we have four bow users, so... Yeah, I know you have a bow, Marcus. Well, I can get to him. There we go. Alright. So, in this game, there are, like, set dungeons. What I mean with that is that every dungeon, everything you kill, stays dead. So, every time you win... Like, I could walk around here forever and nothing ever spawns. So, every encounter in a dungeon is just a one-time. Which is good and bad. You can't grind in dungeons, but you also can't get ambushed in dungeons. As long as you stay in, um, in stuff you've explored already. 
Now, I know for a fact there's something hidden here, and we have six people, and we have probably enough perception to find a secret door. Now, I have to look here. Oh, uh, look. Okay, uh, disarm trap. Is there a trap on the door? Not a trap. Pick the lock. Not a lock, okay. You have to check every single door, because some doors can get booby-trapped or even locked, so... Well, we found a chest. So first you look. There's no trap on there, I think. Not a trap. Okay, pick the lock. Is there a lock on there? Not a lock. Now, I thought about this a few times. You can save scum in this game, aka you save, you open a chest, is it not good loot, you load and you try and try and try again. I won't do that, I want to keep the game fresh, so to speak, I just want to open a chest and roll with it. If it's crap, it's crap, if it's good, it's good. I'm not going to save scum because I want to keep the game challenging. So, we're just going to open it. Found some gold. Uh, Marcus is the one who identifies. No, actually, you are the one who identifies. Flask, scroll, flail. Now, I do save every time I identify scrolls and potions. Because they these can break. Flask is actually useless. Flask of wine can just drop that. That's worth nothing. The scroll, though... Is it identify? Translate. Mental shock. Eh, that's not bad. A flail plus. That's probably better than a broadsword. Let's give that one to Lawrence. Uh, let's see. I, uh... Handheld 30, 33. If we equip that, handheld 43. Yep, slightly better. And we can sell this broadsword. Okay. Um, check for a trap. There's no trap. There's no lock. Another chest. Not a disarm. Ah! There's a lock on there. Come on, Kelsey. There you go. Pick the lock. And what do we get? A ring! Okay. Uh, rings are... Can! Can be good. But... Depends. It's all RNG. But let's see. Protection ring. That's actually decent. That gives you 10 defense. Full shield. That's better than a small shield. Well, that's better than a small shield. So, Lawrence, get that. Who has the lowest? Well, that's easy. Giving the protection ring to Marcus. He has the lowest defense. So, boop. 10 defense. And then equip. The small shield, get the full shield. And do we have anyone who has a... Well, Marcus... Can you... Our oh, prohibited combination, that's right. Well, we can just sell it then. Because a quarter staff is two hands. We can't use a shield with it. Now, there's another secret over here. I know most of the secrets in this game. Even though I haven't played it for a while, some things you just remember forever, I guess. No trap. Not a lock. We actually have some things on the floor here. We have a mail coat. And there's something there. It's kind of hard to see, but there is something on the floor. So we have two new items. Come on. Kala! Just look at it harder, okay? Oh my god. Thank you. 
and a full shield. Full shield plus that one goes to you. Mill coat goes to you. Lawrence is getting the best upgrade first because he is the frontliner. Makes sense, right? And then you, Mill coat can go to. Well, I can sell that. Kelsey gets the better shield. Okay. And save again. Remember the Evan playthrough with the ex opener exploding the party, but not himself? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, skeletons and zombies. You're gonna see these screens a lot, where there's like doors and other obstacles. Every time you enter a fight, it is literally the spot where you fight them. So as you saw on the overworld map, or actually the dungeon map, you had like a little corridor with doors. You see them in the in the fight as well. So it fights you as where you are. So it's, yeah. It's not like a generic battlefield. It's actually directly where you are in the dungeon. Oh, that worked. Annoying breeze. Okay, Lawrence, go to the front. Yep, nice. Okay. And done. It doesn't matter who kills something in the party, everyone gets XP equally, as long as they are alive. So that's fair, right? I see that instinct. Annoying breeze. Okay. Uh, and good. Okay, I gotta save here, because there is a small mini-boss coming up that sometimes wrecks me. A terrifying ghost. Okay, this might end up bad. This thing is strong. But he does guard some nice loot. And we want some loot. I have to check what it is. Oh, it's nothing. Okay, I can't check. He's not in view. Okay, yeah, I drew blood from a ghost. Class 3 undead. Okay, can I cast Repulsion 3? Okay, I can't. Then we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Do I have... Safeguards. Yes. That's good. That increases my defense a bit. I don't want to be near that ghost with the bard. It's not a good idea. I can't cast anything. Well, actually, I could, but... Nearly slips. Nearly slips. Get away! What can I do? What is... Hum of Distraction. Okay, Hum of Destruction increases my own defense and monster lore. Okay, that's good. 
So the bard can increase its own monster lore with uh, distraction. I may want to write that down somewhere. So that is, you can increase your own lore and then you can analyze creatures better with him. That's not bad. Um, I can't cast that, I'll have to wait. Yeah, Lawrence is going in. Hopefully not die. Ah! He went straight for the bard! Yikes. Okay. Uh, let's try to hit, I guess. Ah, and dead. Well, that will happen a lot in this game. But yeah, this boss, this mini boss is a problem sometimes. Because it's a ghost. It's hard to hit. Ah. Yeah, he drains hit points too. I may want to skip on this thing for now if I lose another one. Because reviving is not cheap early. Yeah, I think I'm going to load. This is just a bit... I'm getting mauled. Let's just not... Please, can I run away? Thank you. Okay. Restore. Okay, let's just not deal... The good thing is that we know he's there. Like, he's right there. So we can always come back a level later or something and then win. Actually... Let me just write that down. It's not required, but we are going to get our revenge at some point. Fog of War. Yeah, it has Fog of War. W-D-Y-M? What is that instinct? The game is really good for how old it is. I love it. It's, it's, it's kind of corny, maybe, but I like it. He distracted him too well. Yes. Yes, he did. Thomas used distraction and pulls a bone around and used provokes instead. Yep. Oh, what do you mean? Oops. Okay. I saw the 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 cats like eh, that's what I mean. The the free cat emojis. What is Canticle of Beasts? I don't even know what that does. Hmm. I don't know what that does. That's the problem. I don't know what most of the Bart spells do. Would be cool if I had some MP, but I can't do anything. Oh, Dragon Scales. That's defense. Oh, it's only for yourself. Well, that's kind of useless. Can we get some deadly strikes? No. The problem is I need to level so I can hit more. But don't worry, at some point in the game we will get to see how crazy deadly strikes is. Just you wait. Nice shot there. Ah. Starts to hurt them. Well, boom. Oh, come on. Didn't kill. Got him. There's not a whole lot of music in this game, and it can get a bit repetitive. But, I don't know. It's old school, this game. Um... Do I go rest? No, I'm good. Yeah, so we're gonna leave that section of the map alone, because that ghost will wreck us. Also, I haven't even shown you guys, but everyone has a, has, a, has a rank. When they level up, they get a new rank. It's just for fun. It's like how good you are in your job. So, Lawrence is a guardian. Kala is a trickster. Marcus is a, is a blesser. Fossil Riz is a scout. Thomas is a shill. I'm not sure what a shill actually is, but okay. And Kelsey is a snitch. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that, that gets higher as you level, you get a better rank, a better title. I need to go heal because I see some, I know some things are coming up, I need some mana for those. So let's go to the inn, there's an inn up here. This is the inn, yes. Room, yes. 12 bucks, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do this side quest. You see a wanted poster with the man picture. Wanted! The mercenary guild has placed a bounty of 1,000 gold crowns for the head of the bandit Galoran. Any person wishing to collect this reward needs to simply present the head of the bandit to the guild master. So we have a new side quest. Grab that, so... A bandit leader. Okay, and back to Twitch chat. And back here. I just picked it up. So it's... Um... I, I can actually sell some junk. Like, why not? Small shields? And in this game, you can actually see what is green is equipped. So, you never accidentally sell something, unless you, like, misclick. But even then, you can buy it back, so... But you can see what is not equipped, which is nice. Or rather, you can see what is equipped, which is equally nice. Okay, I need another lantern. And safe, because we're about to find some new enemies. Oh, there is something... Ah, Redman War Party. Ah, uh, this might get bad, but we'll see. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ballad of the Ages? Spell not usable here. Okay. And this is too high. So, I guess Hum of Distraction. That's defense, right? Yeah, it's defense for yourself. I mean, that's not bad. Wow, nice. The Bart draws first blood somehow. Uh, we have a scroll of mental shock. That takes care of the mage. Um, these are not... No, these are not undead, so we can't really do anything. Let's put the healer in the back. You shoot... Wait, what are those... Nature Shade, Warm... Oak Skin is just defense. No, nah. Ranger has to use his spells late in the game. Hey! Uh. Light... Power of the Almighty? Did I try that? Ah, Power of the Almighty increases my weapon attack. Right, 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 right. That's actually useful. Hey. Alright, time for Mage Bow. What is it with guys hitting on the bards, literally? Stop! Deadly strike kicked in, so he she can attack. He can attack again. <laughs> Whenever deadly strike kicks in, you instantly kill someone, and then you can move and attack again. Um, I can cure you. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, not far enough. Okay, that's good. There's one mage left. Oh, come on. It's just a mage. How can it avoid so well? Please. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We're having the hardest time to just get a simple rat mage. Thank you. I feel this game is I could start with playing game for later on but that's the big bit. Oh but I need to do things as well. Yeah, it's kinda addicting, it is. Good evening, demonic! What updates? Oh, you mean the PC? Alright, let's pick up this. It's a wand. Now there is a little trick to this game, and you can call it an exploit. Is it really an exploit? Every wand has eight charges on them. If you use seven charges and then sell it, you still get the same price for when you sell it when you have used no charges. So we're gonna use this thing seven times and then sell it for the full price. Oh yeah, I need to save because this thing can break if you try to uh, identify it. Nope. Nope. Item broken. Okay, I have to load. Load, Twitch, and then identify again. Because it only works if it's identified. Oh, it broke again. Well, this might take a bit. Fail. 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 Broken. Ah! Come on, Kala. Identify this, please. Broken. Ugh. Well, I'll try it three more times. If it doesn't work, we'll simply save the wand until we can identify this thing. Okay, two more times. Restore. Kala can't identify anything. Come on. Okay, successfully identified. Wand of Fire. And now we have a little fun spell. Because a Wand of Fire actually casts a spell we can't even use yet, so you'll get to see some damage. Ratman War Patrol. Okay. Meow. Nope. Uh, move away. Shoot. Nope. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I do Power of the Almighty? No. Shame. Killed one. Uh, I'm not gonna use the wand here yet until they have to cluster first. Well, that's actually not bad. Okay, we're gonna move away. Okay, killed that. Um, cast heal on you. Move away. Okay. Hey, they moved again. That's bad. Well, move as well. Um, yeah, I should use item, wand of fire, and then, like, here. Uh, is it enter? Enter. Haha! -ha. And Redman can run away if they're scared. Oi! Don't don't kill the bard. We like the bard. Right? We like the bard, guys. They keep attacking him instead of the actual tank. Not cool. Thank you. Run away. Safe Twitch fun. Okay. I've had a Windows update before. How can identification from round break? Is it Kala slamming it against the wall? What are you? What are you? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you would actually like pick it up and like analyze it and like carefully touch it or something or read it, but nope. What are you? What are you? <laughs> Oops, it broke. <laughs> uh, well, these Ratmen don't like the part apparently. Rapman War Patrol, or War Band.
Um, I should just go back and go forward. And go back here. So the party is actually pretty well balanced. Uh-oh, pain hurts. The party is pretty well balanced because we have two frontliners, we have two middle liners, and we have two back row. So, not bad. I'm moving away from here because we're going to use that wand again. Um, heal the thief. And here we go. Wand of fire. Second one. Up there. Nice. And they're running away. Of course, they're losing, they're running away. I mean, I would kind of do the same, I guess. And save. Poof. Ratman War Patrol, uh, Weapon Patrol. Okay, Patrol is a little smaller. That's not too bad. Bum. Annoying breeze. Um, no, I'm gonna wait until they have moved before I use anything. Okay, that's perfect. Mental jolts. Oh, that hurts. And you're asleep or stunned, which is not good. Okay, attack this guy. Ah, um, heal! And use Wand of Fire on these. Snare, can't move then. Uh, I have to go back and heal after this one. If I don't die first. For some reason, the Bart gets attacked constantly. It's not good. He's not a frontliner, as you see. Okay, good. They might. Okay, they might run away. That's good. That's good. Maybe we can get one more kill in. I have four people who can shoot. Well. Guess not. Bye. Oof. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, cost. Heal. And safe. There's a chest up here. Okay. Is there a trap of the chest? Is it locked? Nope. Open. Um, Kala. Morningstar scroll. Okay, I have to save for the scroll, because that can fail. Item translate. Ah. Healing major. Okay, that's good. Give that to Marcus. Um, Morningstar? Nope, can sell that. Mail coat. Okay, can also sell. And we're good to go. I should go back and heal. The first dungeon is almost over already. This is kind of the tutorial dungeon, although... It's not the easiest, actually. There are some dungeons later on that are actually a little easier, but you can't do them until you do at least this one. This is the only dungeon that is required to be done in early in the game. The rest is more or less optional, or can you do in any order, really. But this one you have to do. Uh, room, yep. Not a baseball bat, nope. 
<laughs> twice four more times thinking it's a baseball bat. Yep, 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 yep. So we'll come back for the ghost later. Although you can try with the wand of fire, but that's a kind of a waste since it is meant for like area attacks and not for one per one one thing. Okay, item is used up. I have to pick up another lantern after this one. This is the last screen of this dungeon. Skeletons and zombies. Alright. What's also good about this game is that every single dungeon has different enemies, so you're never gonna find the same enemy sets in the in two dungeons in a row. You'll always fight something different. Sure, some enemies might come again later, but then they'll be paired with other enemies. So you'll always find something new every time you go into a dungeon. Must have a target. It's right there. It's right there. I can see it. Thank you. Alright. Open this door. I said open this door. Nothing there. Ah, there's some stuff on the wall. Potion, yeah. Ah! Free lantern! That's not bad. And more potions. You want to save because potions are... Well, they can break. So... Yep, item broken. Okay. And that's why we save. At least early on. Later on you don't really have to save. Oh, well... Kala! Stop breaking them! STOP BREAKING THEM! Seriously... Silly thing... Oh, come on! If he breaks them again, I'll just wait until he has a higher identify skill, because this is getting silly. Okay, yeah, we're gonna wait. These things... They don't wanna be identified right now. Alright, fine. This is like a little puzzle. If you stay on the yellow tiles, you don't get hit by awful traps. Okay, nothing there. A swarm of bats! Well, Vader, there's your bats. And we can actually see mundane creatures. How hard is it to hit a bat with a bow, though? Must be quite hard. Or with a sword, at that matter. And a pack of ghouls. Okay, so these are fairly strong. Let's go power up. And still miss. Great. Are they? I don't know if these are. I think these are three. 
Yeah, I think these are three. So let's try Repulsion 3. Oh, come on! Well, I can check. Yeah, it is on th his three, but I can't cast that. I don't have enough mana, so we'll wait. Um, I don't have anything. Well, Oak Skin. Give some defense. That can't hurt. And I'm gonna wait with that, but I can do uh, Mage Bow. Nice. Um, nope. I want to wait. Ah! Stay away! Ghouls can inflict disease, which is bad. I have to I have to spend money to get rid of that. Our healer is gonna get mauled in a sec if I don't do something. But I can't really do anything. Uh nope. Ah Annoying breezes, come on! Eh. Okay, I have to do something with... Um, Kala. Yep. Time to use the Wand of Fire, and put that there. Ah! Our healer is safe. For now. Good. Ah! And away. Nope! Get away! Okay. Well, we cleared the dungeon, guys. We cleared the dungeon. Well, except for the ghost. But we did every everything else. So there's something we can pick up here. A dead man in a robe. Identification. Okay. Dead priest. Well... We found the priest! He's kinda dead though. And now we have an urn over here. Come on, Kelsey! Yes! Open! And get the loot! A small gem, gem, gem! Hey, now this is nice. These can't break, but you have to identify them to get a small diamond. Kaching! Ruby. And a large green gem. Yep, large emerald. Nice. Alright, we can leave for now. We will come back later when we have leveled once or twice and take out that ghost. Right? Right? We want our revenge? Yes? Just making sure, but I think chat will say yes. <laughs> but for now, we'll just leave. And we can deliver the dead priest and take care of that side quest. Thank you for finding out what happened to Father Gimmon. We are very grateful. Here's your reward. Money and XP. You get XP in this game by clearing quests, which is important. So we can actually check if someone can level 
I have to see, when do we level to level 3? It shows in the help, I'm pretty sure. Oh, every 5,000 points up until level 5. There's a good chance someone can level, so who can level them maybe? Lawrence, Kala, Marcus? Yeah, Lawrence, Kala, Marcus... That's it. Well, we can see if Marcus can level, since we're right here at the temple. Not ready yet. Okay. We have to wait a bit more until we can level, but we can level probably pretty soon. Alright, let's sell some junk. Well, I say junk, but look at these gems. They're actually worth quite a bit. So, Morning Star, Mail Code. Like, look, 430 for the diamond. Boom. Emerald, 460. Boom. Small Ruby. Nice. And now, I want to tell you a little secret about this game and how to get strong. Two ways, and they're both rings. There's Ring of Speed, which increases your movement and allows you to attack more, both with bow and, hand, uh, and weapons. And there's a Ring of Power, which gives you more mana points. So I'm going to get a ring. I think it's here. You, th these are sets, and you can always find them. Just have to look in the right shop. Okay, there's no here. Then it must be up here. There's a couple of Ring of Powers and Rings of Speed in all the magic shops. Basically, you have to, like, check every single magic shop and find them and buy them. They are expensive, yes. I think it's this one, actually. Craft shop. No, Ring of Elements, which is also good, but nope, not yet. There is one Ring of Power in this town, and I kind of want to get it. Was it here? Magician's Corner? Nope. Um, here? General Store? No. Adventure Shop? No. Jonna, this might be it. Nope, it's not it. Uh, this is a bow shop, a weapon shop, okay. Then I know where to get one. There's one in the town above. I'm taking a small detour to get one of those rings, but you'll see quickly how, Im how good they are. And they will make the next dungeon a little bit easier. So, we're just gonna walk up here. To the first city. I think it's Chelsea? Drensea. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that that is this one. Shop of Magic. Ring of Elements is also still good, but it's not a Ring of Power. Shop of Mysteries. Ring of Light. Maybe it's random. I thought of a set where you find these things, but it's no matter. We'll find them eventually. Common goods? No. In? No. Ah well, it's no big deal. If we don't find them, it's fine. Archer shop. Not a bad idea to get a good bow here. A long bow? Nah. I guess that's no no ring for me. Unless I go like everywhere and look in every single magic shop, but that's kind of boring. Oh, I can get some knight helmets actually, why not? That can't hurt. He can't wear a helmet, can he? No, prohibit it, but you can wear a helmet. You can wear a helmet. And you can wear a helmet. Equip that. Equip, nope. Uh, equip the helmet. Equip the helmet. Let's just get some better gear. Why not? Uh, coif? A coif is on your head, so I can get that three times. Uh, leggings. One, two, three. Sleeves. One, two, three. Uh, okay. Co uh, leggings and coif, leggings, coif, leggings, coif and sleeves, sleeves and sleeves, equip, boop, 
Oh, prohibited combination? Oh, it's instead of the coat. Oh. So apparently that's instead of the coat. Well, what's better then? Oh, the plus is better. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Uh, equip the leggings, the coif, and the sleeves. Equip the coif and the sleeves. Now what's better? Uh, coat is 65. Okay, coat is better. Well, I bought two things I couldn't use. Oh well. Sell. Sell these two. Yes. And sell, yes. I said yes. Why can't I... Oh, apparently I didn't sell. Hold on. Sell that. Sell... Belly. Yes, okay. I can't can buy anything else. Code, code, coif, shield. No. I have grief. Wait. Um... Are greaves on your... On your legs, or are they on your feet? Because I don't know if that's usable. Um, okay. Warhammer. Crossbow. There's some good stuff here, but it's way too expensive. Actually, Leather Jacket++ plus plus is not too expensive. That's actually good. Oh, Gauntlets! That's good. One, two, three... They're on the shins. Okay, I'll check. But can you equip gauntlets? Yeah, you can equip gauntlets. That's good. So, gauntlets for you. Gauntlets for you. Leather jacket goes to you. Equip that and gauntlet. Oh, you can't equip gauntlets. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Leather jacket can be sold. Gauntlets. What? Oh, sleeves. Well, these are better, right? 60, 75, okay, sleeves. You can sell those. Equip the gauntlets. And you can't wear those. Oh, mail. He can't wear mail for whatever reason. I thought he couldn't wear mail. He's an elf, right? That's weird. Okay. They might count as footwear. Well, I'll check. Because if it's better, it's better. Uh, sell that. And sell these. I said, sell... For some reason, I have to do this twice. Oh, that, that's kind of strange that I have to do this twice. Oh well, it's no big deal. Alright, let's save and get these greaves and see what they actually are. Because they... At least at the moment, they're kind of expensive. 119. Okay, get some griefs. Can you wear these? Okay, you can't. It's prohibited. Let's see. Lawrence, can you wear them? Okay, instead of boots? No. Instead of... What? The coat? Yeah. It's body armor. What? Okay, well, it's not better, so, nope. Restore. I'm not gonna buy that. Um, do we have to get anything else? Well, you don't have much. Quarter staff. We need some more leather stuff, and you're mostly gonna wear rings anyway. Um, but I think... Well, yeah, I think for now this is actually okay. Unless there's like some good... Some good weapons. Like actual swinging weapons. That's an archer shop. I'm sorry for the shopping, but... I just want to upgrade the party a bit. Like, attack-wise. Um... Nope, nothing for sale. That's any good. Oh, shop of magic. Okay. Shop of mysteries. I think I checked these already. Yeah, it's... Okay, nope. Nope. 
Is this a store? No. Well, I can rest here, which is good. Um, the amount of rings you can wear in this game is as much inventory as you have. You can wear two, four, ten, fifteen, it doesn't matter. Like, we have two screens of, um, ten. So you can wear a maximum of twenty rings if you want. But I would not recommend. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go back and go into the... Nah, well, actually, that's fine. No, it's not fine. The, these guys, this specific bandit group is mean. So, let's not do that. We have to go back to this town. I'm checking a few things before we head back. Craft shop. Okay. I'm just looking for some good stuff. Magician's Corner. Divine Blessings. Nope. I'm just looking for weapons shops. I need some good weapons, yo. General Store. Um. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we might have something here. Elven longbow is really good, but it's expensive. Oh, broadsword plus plus. That is perfect. Uh, leather jerkin plus is also good. Uh, broadsword plus plus to Lawrence, and the leather jerkin is better. 73 becomes 83. And then Lawrence can get, instead of a... Uh, Flail Plus, let me see, he has 43 handheld, now he has 53, and we can give the Flail, I guess, well, I guess to Fossil, Fossilurus, your name is gonna give me a headache, sir, I swear. Sell the leather jacket. Sell the broadswords, okay. Um, there's a store, a oh, weapon shop, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Warhammer is not good enough, though. This is a bow shop, I think? Yep. Okay, nope. Elven longbow is the best thing you can get for a while, but it's kind of expensive. Armor, well, let's see. Gauntlets, I have them. Greaves, Knight Helmet, Coif. Well, Crossbow plus plus. That's good for the Ranger. And a Leather Jacket plus plus. Sweet. And then we're out of money for now. So I'll give the Crossbow to you. And Leather Jacket, I think. Kala doesn't have a plus plus yet. No, he does. Then Marcus gets one. Uh, Leather Jacket. Take that off, that's much better. Sell this, and then Fossilrus gets a crossbow plus plus. Right, I have to check chat. One sec. All the rings, yes, yes. At some point, you can no longer bend your fingers. Oh my. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Yes. Almost as bad as Saharala. Pretty much. This song has got to kill my brain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't think it can be found in some chests, right? What can't be found in a chest? Oh, I forgot to... No, I have a lantern, okay.
All this stuff reminds me of a Dutch saying, even if a monkey was a golden thing, it will always be an ugly thing. Yeah. There's a secret door here. Yep. Also, I need to remind myself that we actually found the missing priest. So I have one slot open for a side quest, in case we find one. Okay. What is next? We're going to find out how to perform the magic dance. <laughs> A group of bandits. This screen is very brown. Nice, better crossbow. That helps. Marcus, nope. Oh, that's perfect. You guys are just huddling together. I have to sell my wand soon, but for now, I can just use it. A uh, wand of fire. And there. Oh, I only killed one of them. That's a shame. Three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, I got. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to heal my bards. For some reason, every enemy in the game so far likes to attack the bards. Stop, please. Yeah, it's a lot of brown. It's giving a spontaneous tan. <laughs> Thankfully, every single battle screen is different, though. I may have to use another... Yeah, I'm gonna use another uh, wand of fire. Then I have to sell this thing next time we go back in town. Okay, go away. Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey! Uh, hey, that the strike kicked in! It's rare, but it does happen. For now. Okay. Please die. Uh, nope. Like, once we beat this dungeon, it's a fairly long dungeon, but once we beat this dungeon, the game opens up. So, I hope you guys can forgive me for a rather slow-ish start, but I think every single RPG has a slow start, right? But it gets a lot better once we can actually go into the open world and explore and find our own path, pretty much. Because there is no set order for anything in the game. You can do whatever you like, as long as you can handle the monsters. It's giving us a spontaneous tan. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. This one thief is not giving up. Oh, wait, no. Bow. Come on! Ugh. Okay, got him. And I have to heal you a bit. 
technically you can do the game without a healer, but has has any of you ever done like a proper like Dungeons and Dragons ish like campaign without a healer? I'm sure it's doable, but I would not recommend. Bandits. This one has a sorcerer, though. Okay, you know what? This is actually perfect. That door is locked over there, so I am going to play it smart and simply use the wall to fire the last time. Stay in the corner, you stay there, you go away, you stay here. Alright, alright, I won't worry. <laughs> All the potions? Well... We have two potions in our inventory, we can't even see what they are. Yeah, the beginning does take time, true. But I think with every level you gain, you gain another swing on your weapon and another shot at your bow. So, that will really speed things up, just having another shot per turn. And certain weapons also give you more attacks. And certain rings, too. Like a swift ring, or a ring of speed. But, finding them is kinda tricky. You can do the whole game and not find any of them. Cause it's all RNG. Well... We've played for nearly two hours, it doesn't seem that long, but what do you guys think of this game? I saw some comments earlier, but... It's still early in the game, so it's kind of hard to say, maybe, but... Well... Hey! Uh... Nope. Too far. Okay. I need to go away. Stop hitting the bard, though. Okay, heal the parts. Gives a solid hit. Yeah. That <laughs> liquid hit, oh you. Pricks the skin. Please. Why can't you see that thing? Okay. Uh. Ba -ba -ba Please go away. Uh. Just hitting these sometimes can take a while. You can see, like, in the top of the uh, the combat stats, it says round. So it took us 12 turns, like, 12 complete rounds of... 13 now. 13 rounds of everyone to beat this one fight. Later on in the game, we're gonna have rounds of, like, two to beat the whole... Uh, to beat the whole... Uh, the heal, uh, the, the, the heal, the whole thing. Oh, no fella targets. Hey. Well, I'm gonna try to hit him because I can't move far away enough to actually use my bow. 15 rounds! Good lord, thank you, Thomas. Jeez. Okay.
There's some dead guys on the wall over there. Is there any loot to obtain? I'm a horrible person. I come in a dungeon, I see a dead guy, and I try to loot them. Treasure! There's no trap on there. Is there a lock? There's no lock. Okay, let's see what's in there. Ugh, lock the kit. Well, the gem is fine. Lock the kit is useless. You only need one in the entire game. I'll be happy once Kala can actually identify a bit better. It's a sapphire! It's a sapphire! Kala, it's a sapphire. Take it from me, okay? A small blue gem can only be a sapphire. Please! Please! Dude! It's a sapphire! <laughs> ah! Okay. Game? Please. Thank you! Good lord. I think I wouldn't be surprised if Michael D. Dolph made this was a big fan of D&D. I think so, yeah. This game is from 1993. When it dies, leave me your gear. Not like he needs it anyway. True, 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 I guess. Do you lose anything by trying to identify over and over? Uh, no. The only bad side is when you try to identify a potion, a wand, or a scroll, then it can break. So that's the only time you want to save, and if you can't identify, just wait until later. But otherwise, no, there's no penalty. Ah, we get a wonderful... Ah, I'm gonna use something here. Power of the Almighty. And Celestial Safeguard. Oh, can't even do that. Fine. Ah. Uh, Oak Skin, I guess. Nice shot, Fossil Lilith. Okay, how... Uh, you know what? Here's a fun idea. We created Lawrence, Kelsey, and Kala. Maybe you guys can come up with some creative nicknames for our Ranger, Bard, and Healer. Because I can't change these names, but maybe you guys can come up with some funny nicknames. Like, why not? Because if I have to say Fossilless every time, that's gonna be annoying. Bone break hurts. Wah! Medic! Lawrence is dying. <laughs> ah! Magic, magic, magic. Ugh. Please. I think Lawrence is gonna die, guys. Which is not good. Ugh. Jeez. Uh, can I cast anything else? Well, slumber, maybe? Just put something to sleep.
Arg! I don't want to see the tank die. I don't want to see Lawrence die. I might get... <laughs> no, probably not, but... Ah! Someone might get upset if he dies. Okay, I think we're good again. Okay. Now, please stop missing, guys! Ah, no bone break again! Ah! Ugh, this is not going too well. Hopefully I can level soon, so this will be a bit quicker. Jeez. Oh, come on! Can you guys hit anything today? Uh, fear. Oh, fear didn't work. Okay, good. Oh, for goodness sake. Hit them! I'm moving away. I don't trust those guys down there. Thank you. I'm moving away as well. Um, nope. I want to get rid of that mage. Typically, when you fight these fights, you want to get rid of the mage first, but mages in this game actually are kind of hard to hit. If you may have noticed. On the plus side, mages have limited mana in this game, like you, which is fair. Ah, finally, got rid of the mage. Jeez. Call him Yum in the Flagger, <laughs> Tammy and Fossey. I second Anthro's answer, oh dear, wow. I've always wanted to use his name in the RPG, but the character limits never let me. Nope, not in this one either. Our dad is the name that wants to use the RPG. Yeah, it's me super, yep. But I have had him John William as a classmate at one point, and fit as a full name too. <laughs> you want to hit anything in your character that aren't wearing glasses, the accuracy is minus 200. Yeah, the accuracy is the problem early on. But, like I said, levels in this game are quite severe. You'll actually notice when you level up. Ugh. I might have to use my healing scroll on Fossilris. If these guys take forever to die. Ugh. Come on. Well, I hope that despite the long fight, I keep you guys entertained with my random comments. I mean, that's my job, I guess. Ugh. Okay. Finally! He hit something. Cool. Okay. Uh, go up. Nope. Too far away. Can I heal myself? I can. That's not bad. Ah. Uh, no, don't, don't go swing with a bard. Stay away. Bards don't hit things. That's not their job. They sing and buff. That's usually what they do. Well, I can't move away, so I may as well try to swing. Nope, that didn't work. Ah. I saw in a shop earlier, there's something called a Swift Killer you can buy, which is the perfect thief weapon, but it costs like, I don't know, 20,000 gold or something. So that's not gonna happen for a while. But Swift Killer increases your amount of steps, it increases your amount of swings, and it improves the chances of a deadly strike happening. So yeah, pretty good. But who knows, maybe we'll find a swift killer at some point. There's a pretty good chance. I mean, there's lots of dungeons in the game. Let me actually count how many dungeons are in this game. I'll see. Like, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I think there's like 12 or 13 dungeons in the game or something. And some are pretty big. Ugh, okay. And let's disarm. Nope. And... Nope. Okay. What do we get? Yummy! Stale bread! Cool! Well... Boots are always boots. They're never plus plus, I think. Oh, come on, Kala. They're boots. Well, just sell them. Oh, yeah. Remind me to uh, sell the wand. Large red gem. Oh, and a cloak. Large ruby. Kala. Don't bang it against the wall. It's a large ruby. No, no, no. Look at it. Look at it. No, don't throw it. Don't throw it. Just look at it. Study it. Examine it. Don't put it under your feet. Nope, nope. Just look at it. Come on. Come on. It's a red ruby. It's the only gem that... There you go. Ah. Um, yeah. Now, you may think, why do you give a cloak? It doesn't do anything. Actually, it does do something. If you wear a cloak, it protects you from environmental heat. There are certain areas in the game later where it's very, very cold or very, very hot. And having a cloak on or off affects that. So you want to have a cloak on everyone and then just uh, and then adjust accordingly. If it's too hot, you take it off. If it's too warm, if it's too cold, you put it on. Um, I need to go back and heal because my healer is about dead. Well, not dead, like dead on spell points. Is this a in? Ah, it's perfect. Room. Yes. Thank you. I feel kind of bad for our thief, though. He's the only one who doesn't have any spell points. But he does have deadly strike, so that's kind of magical. Delicious rations. Yes. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Does the game have flanking, like more damage hit from the back? Uh, no. If you are in reach, that's it. Rubies are hard, probably harder than the wall. <laughs> I guess so. Oh yeah, we have to sell the wands. Thank you, uh, Sadar. Because we are out of charges on that thing. It's gonna give us quite some money though, which is good. You'll see. Um, it's a magic shop, so we can sell these, we can sell that, and we can sell the wands for 2,400 coins. Boom. Because we used up 7 charges on it, so that was a good good investment, and now we have some money. Uh, we can sell the jacket. Oh yeah, he's a crossbow guy, he doesn't... Oh, let's see. What do you have? Do you have any good bows? Nope, no album longbow. Uh, bye. Do -do 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 nope. And sell leather jackets and the leather boots. Oh yeah, no one buys those. Well, maybe the common store buys them. If no one that don't buy them, then we have to probably just drop them. But it's fine. Low like ten. So okay, he does buy them. Anything else in here? Well, buying cloaks is a waste of money. Um, two hundred legs. Nope. I'm looking to see where I saw the swift killer. It was in this town or the other one. Let me just see. 
Oh, no. Ring of fire. Oh, pass through stone. Good to know. We need that. Uh, bye. Nope. Okay. Do they buy them without being identified? Yeah, they do buy them, but they're worth less if you just do it. Oh, store. Oh, fine goods. Okay. Yeah, if you just sell them without, without identifying, they're worth less. So, usually you want to identify them first. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the other, other town again. Because I saw, I saw a swift killer somewhere. It would be nice to get that at some point. But that's kind of expensive, so... Oh, well, I don't want to fight these. Nope, nope. These are the bad kind of bandits. With the blue shield guys? The, these are hard to kill at the moment, so... Swift killer counts as a magical item, so it has to be one of the magic shops that I checked earlier. Ah, there it is. Swift Slayer. That's the one I mean. 21,000! But that's a perfect weapon for Thief. Uh, okay, so I know where it is. 21k. Good. Alright, let's go back. I'll save the money, because there's nothing else to buy, really, at the moment. Uh, go down, 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 down. Poof. How many times have you played this game? Um, when it first came out, like dozens of times. But since then, not a whole lot, actually. I played it like four, five times since it came out. Like after my initial, uh, initial playthrough. Um, use the lantern. I keep pressing escape, but I just want to save. Is it S? Oh, S is just save. Okay. Bats! Eek, eek! I'm sorry, Vader, more bats! At least these die quick. Come on! Please... I know they're just bats, but... Bats are kinda hard to hit. Uh... Okay. Okay. And because it's fun, more bats! Like, you try to hit a winged creature with a sword, it's not easy. I actually never wielded the swords, so I don't know how heavy they are, but I imagine they are a lot heavier than you think they would be. Things got batty, yes. Ow! More bats? Bats-tastic! <laughs> I apologize in advance if some of the music in this game will get stuck in your head for a while. 
that's maybe one of the only like da da downsides of this game. The music is a bit repetitive and there's not a whole lot, so... But, I mean, I can't be too hard on it, right? It's made by one guy. Imagine, one guy programmed the game, made the sprite art, made the music, wrote the story, created all of the spells, the stats, the items, the dungeons, everything by one person. So I really can't be too hard on the music. You try making music, it's not easy. Alright. Another chest. No lock? No lock. Money! Money is good. And a scroll and a shirt. Save. What does the scroll say? Ah. Inspiration. I can sell that. That's not a good spell. Male shirt. Ah, male shirt. He can't wear that, right, Kelsey? Let's see. Oh, he can. 83, 88. Huh. That's kind of weird. Elves can't use male coats, but they can use a male shirt. What's the difference? It's still male. Hmm. Okay, let a jerk in. Marcus? Nope. Uh. Thomas? Uh, yeah, he has a better. Okay, good. And we're slowly getting upgrades every time. This is not the type of game where you can just find one item and then cruise through the game. No, you have to upgrade like gradually and slowly. Bandits again and another chest, so... He tried to be catchy. Yeah, it is catchy though. Maybe a bit short, but it is catchy. I should just... Oh yeah, I need to check the ballots. Not usable here. I have to see what that does, actually. But let's do the hum of distraction to get some defense. So if it's not usable here, it must be usable in the dungeon or in the overworld? Ugh, annoying breeze. Good. Ugh. From the looks and the sounds of the game was probably made, the technology was not the advanced yet. For instance, the PC Engine. Yeah, this was made back in 1993. It was it was published in 1994, so it was made in the early 90s. So you probably remember what technology was available back then. Not a whole lot of advanced stuff. If these portraits were made in MS Paint back then? Wow. I can't draw even half this good in MS Paint. If that was even used, though, I can't tell, but... What else was there in 1993? What could else could you use? Coral Draw, maybe? <laughs> 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 
Like, that's an old program. Uh, no need to heal. Uh, well, bow is better than handheld, so... Ugh. I don't have anything I can use. Nope. I mean, I can try hit it, but... <laughs> okay, the, the cleric was like, screw this! Boom! And just murdered someone. <sighs> um, I can try sleep someone. Well, oh, man, these bandits are a little tricky to deal with, but we can level soon. Once we get 10k XP, we can level up a few characters, so that will help. Uh, don't kill my thief, please. I need him. I can also heal with my ranger if needed, but I need more firepower for now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the beginning of this game really is a bit of a drag. I, I will always confirm that. Like, it's a good game, I like it, but the beginning is a bit of a... Well, you, you see it. It's like you don't hit things, it takes forever to kill them, battles drag on. It's a tad annoying, maybe? But things will improve soon enough. Ah, okay. Not much as Windows is starting out to go programmers with like the DOS. Yep. One of the drawn programs for DOS and there aren't that many as far as I can recall. Nope, there were not many. I know Coral Draw, but maybe that was like in Windows as well. On top of the sword weight, I do have a decorative katana. It's like it's heavy, but if you think you're gonna swing it around like an anime character, you won't unless you do like 1,000 sword strokes each day. Yeah, it's not easy. It's heavy. By the way, maybe from a lore perspective, they count elves as fairy folk, in which case iron would be harmful to them. Oh, I guess. It's mostly because you are not used to the size and how it moves when you swing it. Nope, that's true. Goodness me. Are we gonna break a record on the longest fight? Because they were up to round 11 and they're not dying yet. I'm gonna heal a bit. And I'm gonna heal a bit. In a similar sense to King's Quest 3 with a slow start, I'm ravenous! Fix me something. Yeah, kinda. Oh, finally killed something. Good. But they're running away, so the battle is almost over. Here's a fun fact. You get the same XP even if they run away. 
enemies that run away give you XP. So, because technically, they... Well, they didn't die, but you won. So if they run away, you still get the XP from them. Which is, I think... Is that fair? In most games, you don't get XP if they run away. But in this case, they do. Because the game still considers them as they lost. Since you did not, well, die. They ran away, so you won. What's your opinion about that? Do you think it's fair if they give XP when they run away, or is it kind of dumb? Oh, potion. Gotta wait with potions. A sling, a jacket, the bottle is rubbish. As you can see, we have 8,900 XP. We need 10,000 to level them, so not too long, not too much longer now. Okay, can sell the sling jacket. It's a jacket, Kala. It's a jacket. Are you kidding me? It's a jacket. How hard is it to identify a piece of leather? Dude. Thank you. It's not even a special one. Jeez. Ugh. I like the idea. It's fair. It's not like you did nothing so you got experience using a weapon. Yeah, I think it's a good way to prevent Furious Rage quitting because too many enemies escape and causing zero XP. Yeah, true, true. As long as you, like, completely beat the combat, you get the XP. I guess it's kind of fair. Um... I need to... Yeah, I know what's coming. I should just rest, take it safe, play it safe. Okay. How much money do we have? Well... <laughs> it's, uh, about one-fifth of the Swift Slayer. But, spoiler, we're not gonna save up money for that, because we need just, like, normal gear. If we get, like, some kind of major money boost from somewhere, I'll probably save up for it, but for now... Nah. Besides, there's a pretty good chance we're gonna find one, because there are a few uh, chests in the game that can give you so-called artifacts. A Swift Slayer is actually an artifact because it's not like a broadsword plus plus, it's like a sword with a name. Anything with a fancy name in this game is an artifact, so... Mm. There are many swords like that, there's a bow, there's a flute, there's chains, there's boots, cloak... There's a lot of stuff that has like a special name. But finding these artifacts is A, completely random, and B, kind of rare, so... But I'm sure we'll find at least one of them. Okay, use the lantern again. Item used up, okay. I have to get another lantern next time. Well, no, I have another lantern, never mind, never mind, I have a fresh one. Okay, nothing up here. Oh, there's a loot. A torch. Nah. Don't care for the torch. Is there a chest under there, though? That could be hidden. No. Well, I mean, free torch. Why not? It's a single time use. Lantern is three uses, torch is one use. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's go down here. Okay. Group of bandits. 
What I do like about the dungeon design, though, is every time... What the? Every time you, um, fight something and win, there's like a small reward. There's like a new screen, or there's a dun there's a, there's a chest, or there's something on the ground, you know? So every time you beat something, there's like a small reward, which is nice. Uh, time to hit the mage again. Which is kind of tricky. Well, I'm just gonna cast Power of the Almighty and then swing. Oh, that did something. Times like these, I wish I had a wand of fire still. But, nope. Sadly, wands don't last forever. I think the bow skill is much higher. So I should just shoot with a bow. We don't have good weapons yet, so... Ah well. Maybe we can go under 15 rounds this time. Okay. Uh... What does hum... a uh, canticle of beasts... I'm not quite sure what that does. Okay, does anyone know what is a... Hold on. What is a canticle? Maybe that's like a hint to we can figure out what it does. Because I didn't see any stat increase on that, so I'm not sure what it does. Mage bow on this guy. Ah, uh, the mage is so hard to hit. Okay. Ouch. Ugh. Okay, heal. What the heck, Ra? That's dumb. I see color of underwear on his head wearing a boot like a glove. Try to identify a jacket! <laughs> well, that's a good visual. <sighs> Kala, stop slamming the jacket against the wall, but I must figure this thing out. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's got a level on it. It's a Louis Vuitton. You can't know that it may be fake. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, at 11. That's dumb. Why would you, like, at, at this hour? That's ridiculous. Canticle is a hymn or chant, a biblical text forming a regular part of a church service. Oh, okay. Well, that still doesn't really tell me what it does. Canticle of Beasts. Was it? I'll check. Canticle of Beasts. I'm not sure what that does. I have to check the Ballad of Ages, although I can't do it here. Said it's not usable here. Um, I'll try hit. I mean, I know it's uh, supposed to be a sword or a maze, but if you look real close, if you look at Marcus's sprites, doesn't it look like he's like carrying a little purse? I know it's supposed to be a sword, but it's kind of weird. summon something. No. I don't really know what it is. I use it and I, I get like a green glow and it doesn't do anything. I don't get any stats for it, so... I'm not sure. Maybe it's some sort of dispel. Like, it maybe it heals... Uh, yeah, maybe it heals something. Like it restores your status or something? I'll check in the... Oh. I'll check in the little folder in a bit. I thought there was like a spell book I could check. 
Because I know there is a spell book for this thing online to see what everything does. Come on, guys, there's just one left, right there. Even the ranger can't hit him, that's kind of bad. And he's supposed to be the guy with the good arrows. Ugh. Okay. Right, I'm checking something, because I'm pretty sure there is a spell book. Let me open up my file, uh, my folder. Uh, games, DOS, Ethra. Is it the README? Could be the README. Nope, it's not README. Uh, online, blah, blah, blah. Is there really no... Hang on. Oh, well, maybe it's this one. Uh, uh, equipment, dungeons, gameplay. Nope. And the help is pretty much the same. It opens up that file. Hang on. I'm checking online. I'm pretty sure there is something for this. Ephra Chronic ah, Chronicle Spells. Oh, spell list. Okay. Um Songs. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is a spell list. So, with this, we can figure out what the bard does. Oh, Siddharth found it as well, apparently. But it... I was right. It does increase your mythic lore skill. Canticle of Beasts. Hum of Distraction. Gives you defense. I knew that. Silver Tongue. Bonus to trade. Okay, it's good. Battle of the Ages. Okay. Uh, ba Battle of the Ages gives you more identify, but we already have someone else who does that. Curse chance? Exposes curses on an item. Okay, it's soothing of the savage beast. Soothing of the savage beasts allows you... Actually, let me just put this up so you guys can actually see. Uh, Soothing of the Savage Beasts allows the party to run away more reliably, which is not really that good. Anthem of the Inaudible? Oh, Anthem of the Inaudible prevents casting of spells for every one. So, friend and foe, which is also not very good. Hymn of Inspiration. Okay, a Hymn of Inspiration is good. It increases the entire party's offensive bonus. So that's good. Inspiration. Charm Savage Beast. Oh! Charm Savage Beast! By using this tune, the bard is able to change the loyalty of one creature, making it fight for the bard. So basically... Yeah, control. And then the lullaby... Yeah, sleeps all creatures who are, can be affected by sleep. So, okay. So the last three... The last three spells or songs are actually good on bard. Inspiration is attack up for everyone, charm is charm something to on your side, and lullaby is sleep everything. So, literally the last three are good. But we need more levels to use them. But okay, now at least I know what everything does, which is good.
Sorry about that, I had to know. Okay, now a lock. Open! More money! A flask. That's junk. Oh, a coif! That can be good. We don't have a lot of coif yet. And in here we find... Stale bread! Boo! Who cares for stale bread? Ah, oh, well, we don't have a leather coif yet. There we go. It's something on your head. And save Twitch Farm. Potion. Potion. Bottle is not important. Flask is not important. There's stuff on the ground here. Jacket? Nah. Great sword minus minus. Wonderful. Drowning ring. Great. All junk. Oh, the lantern wore off. There you go. Bandits. Good. Um, yeah, let's just fight. Aw, Kitty joins the party. That's cute. Now, it doesn't make you drown, but um, it's a cursed ring. Basically, anything that's negative on the ring makes it, um, well, bad. If you equip it, it gives you uh, a negative bonus or something, so I would not recommend ever using it. And that's why identification is important. If you don't identify stuff, you never know if it's bad or not. Well, this is going a lot better. Maybe we can clear it under 10 rounds. I do have to heal the Bart, though. I'm surprised that anyone ever actually t took the time to, like, make an online spellbook, because the game doesn't have that. It has a lot of other things, but it doesn't have that. I guess the game intended you to figure out what everything does, but some of these spells are really cryptic. But at the very least, we can now use Bard effectively. Uh, 
Um, I need to heal the mage. Good. Nice shot there. Come on. Can we beat this in less than 10 rounds? Would be cool. If you could stop missing. Thank you. Well, 8 rounds. That was a pretty quick one. Uh, how is my XP? 9-2. Well, not yet. I need 10,000 to actually level something. Do I have to? No, I can keep going. Ah, there's something here. Another potion. And I think that's a scroll. Yep, it's a scroll. So, save once again. And translate. Kala! You know what? I'm gonna check something. How high is your identify? 18. It's slightly higher. May want to uh, give him a shot. Let's let's make Thomas, Thomas the identifier. See if it works. It's like uh, only a couple of points, but we'll see. We'll give him a fair shot. Let's see if Thomas can do this any better. Nope. Right. Uh, restore. Let's try to translate the scroll instead. Oh, that worked. Remove curse. Now that's important. So I guess Thomas is going to identify stuff instead. I mean, it's only like a couple of points. 1831 compared to 1225. It's not much. Or maybe we can like... Maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can like do Thomas do identifying and then we can do Kala do scrolls or something. We'll split, I guess. Depending on how high we can make get it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But okay, we still have a bunch of potions we can't identify, so let's keep going. There's a lot of nothing in there. There's one chest. Not even a pick lock, okay. 81 coins. Ah, scroll and a jerkin. I guess we're gonna do scrolls. Well, for now, let's just do everything on Thomas, but we're gonna split the rolls later. Jerkin. Plus, plus. Well, it's better than a plus, so keep that. Does Marcus have... Let's see. Oh, it has a plus plus. Okay, um, Kelsey? Oh, it has a male shirt. Okay, then I can simply... Yeah. But what does Fossil... Fossilus have? He has a male coat. Yeah. 65. No, this is better. Okay. Then we can sell it. Okay. Good. I keep pressing escape to save, but you need to press S to save. I mean... <laughs> it's, it's not a wrong thing, but... Okay. Is this first floor done? Or haven't I been down here? Okay, I haven't been... Never mind. I haven't been down here yet. What's gonna say? Ah, giant rats! Ah, oh, rats. Um, let's do... 
that. And also get some defense going. I don't trust these guys. Okay. I think I should just stick to swinging with uh, shooting my sword, shooting my bow. Okay, this is not looking too good. Move away. And heal. Kelsey. Um, yeah, heal Lawrence. Ouch. Ah, I got diseased. Why do they always go after the bards? What's wrong with you? He doesn't even sing that much. Try to sleep one of them. So I have to go back and heal our diseased Bart. You can see by the orange on his life bar that he's actually, well, diseased. Yikes, stay away from me! Well, he has to get close. Oh. One hit at least. Um, no need to heal yet. Ah, go away! I definitely have to exit after these ones to just get rid of the disease, because there's no way we can actually do that right now. In this game, you cannot shoot a bow if an enemy is too close to you. You have to move away a certain uh, amount of steps, which I guess makes sense. But you don't see a whole lot of games where you can simply, you know, only attack when they're far away. Like, most RPGs are like, eh, you have a bow, you can just use whenever. But nope, not in this game, you have to actually move away to shoot. Um, and do that to heal poison disease. 30 bucks, okay. Ah, uh, can I? No. But I actually forgot to do <laughs> a little bit of story in the very beginning. I just realized I completely missed the very first, well, cutscene of the game not really important, but you can talk to your father. No, not this one, but I'm sorry, the king will not see you at this time. Perhaps you'll only wish to try on tomorrow or even the day after. Nope, but I mean... here. Well, I was wondering if you would ever show up. Your father has been asking about you, says he has something important to tell you. I will let you talk to him if you wish. Just be quick, and I'll don't tell anyone I let you in. My child, I hope you are faring better than I. Please listen to what I have to say, we only have a few minutes. I still have friends among the guards. I have been able to piece together some useful information. If what I have heard is true, someone or something has managed to open a gateway into the dimension of demons. Somehow, the kidnapping of the child is related to this. The use of human sacrifice is one way to open a gateway. I cannot believe that the child of a king would be used to open a mere gateway. 
There must be some greater purpose for which they need the child. You must stop this from happening, even if it may mean the death of the child. The threat of another demon war is too great to ignore. Go now, and may the gods favor you. It's like a very minor cutscene, but it doesn't even give XP, so it's like... Eh. But it's plots, and we need plots in this game, right? The plot in this game, though, is very, very, like... Minor? It is there, but it has little consequence on the gameplay. Sell some junk. Sell the sling, yes. And the rest is spells and... Okay. Sell inspiration, yes. And then... Yes. Sell these jackets, jackets, jerkin. Okay. And, yep, we can do one more session. And then we can probably level a bit before we have to stop streaming. So we cleared that. Let's see if there's anything else I missed on this floor. Oh, wait, there's still something here. Use the lantern. Hmm, nothing there. Okay, there is something there. That's the way up. Like, there's an... Okay, I think there was a secret here. Yep, secret door. Flask, useless, but there's another lantern. That's good. And more bandits. Yeah, we can try the ghost in a like at the end of the stream, maybe. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to save my mana for the upcoming fights. I think we're getting close to a little... Well, not a little mini-boss soon. Stop killing my ranger, please. At least the portraits look, like, varied enough, right? Sadar wants to see blood, even though a ghost doesn't have any blood. done with limited HP loss which is good oh very nice okay 
Yeah, you're right, Antipophagus, but that is not the right painting. Ugh, our, uh, that mage over there, kind of worrisome. go for the mage, but kind of hard. The AI in this game is honestly not that bad. Which, again, is impressive if you realize the game was made by one person. Back in like 1994 or something, when I first got this game, it was shareware, and my dad actually uh, had to order online, not even online, like through mail, he had to send an error check or something, which was like something that even predated the credit cards, to America, which basically was, here, take my money and then please send me your game on floppy disks in the mail, and that's how I got the full game. Which is ridiculous if you think about it, but that's how I got this game. It got through mail at some point from USA. Bone break. Ouch. Lawrence is asleep. Lawrence is asleep. He's right there. This is bad. Massive fear. Oh boy. Lawrence is paralyzed. Marcus is paralyzed. He paralyzed the healer. That's bad. Goodness me. No, use Mage Bow. What? Valid target, come on. Ah. Lawrence is gonna die if he doesn't do anything. Okay. Ugh. Reminds me of how a dude in a forum I was... Ugh. Massive fear. And the forum was offered to be able to send out full Let's Play of Ocarina of Time on a CD. Oh, that's cool. Well, you gotta record it somehow, right? Well, Lawrence woke up again. But now Thomas is paralyzed with fear. Ah, oh, finally, took care of that stupid, stupid mage. Fun fact, if a mage has someone on the field, like, in a spell, literally, like, if it's asleep, or stoned, or stunned, or snared, if you take care of the mage, if you kill the mage, then instantly all enchantments on the field left by that mage are gone. So if you kill the mage, everyone who is asleep, or everyone who is stunned, immediately wakes up.
Which is something you don't really see much in the in games, like, right? Because usually when that happens and you kill the mage, the effects still linger. But not in this game. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Ah, another fight done. I think I can level now? Let me see. Nope. 9 7. Nearly there. There's a scroll on the floor. And there's a potion. Well, I can try the scroll. I'm not too confident about potions yet. Until I level. Oh, I have two scrolls. Guess I forgot to analyze them earlier. Summon. No, that's not good. Summon Force Staff, which is basically conjure a uh, conjure a staff, but we already have a staff equipped. That's like literally the bootleg version. If you don't have an actual staff, you can make one with magic. Faith Hill Major, now that is good. So we have two ways of healing on top of our usual MP. I think this is where the mini boss is. If it is, I have to go back. Uh, yeah. We gotta go and rest. There's a mini boss coming up. The second one of the game. There's a couple of mini bosses in this game, actually. But luckily, it's not that far. Uh, room, yes. Poof! Okay, and back we go. I still have a torch, I think. I can just use that. And go in there. Alright. Use torch. It's a one-time use, so I may as well get rid of that. To save some space. And... Yeah, there should... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's stuff over here. Um, I think these are like... I think these are not like scrolls you can... Um, that you can cast. I think these are like message scrolls. Which, I mean, is still important for the plot. There's a couple of message scrolls in the game that tell you some extra information, so may as well... There. Demons, a simple tea treatsy. The exact origin and nature of these creatures must never be discovered. We may, however, speculate based on limited observation by those who have survived encounters with them. We believe demons come from another dimension, coexisting with our own. This place must be very different from our own world to spawn such bizarre creatures. Philosophers have speculated that the demons are the manifestations, the nightmares of the gods. We do know that demons first gained entry into our world by an evil sorcery testing the powers gained from blood sacrifice. What followed was a surge into our world of demon hordes. This brief period became known simply as the Demon Wars. Many brave men and women died at the mercy of these creatures. The demons, being from a different dimension, were immune to almost all weapons and most forms of magic. Only the most powerful clerics and paladins were able to battle them on even ground. To help defeat the hordes, the greatest smiths in all the lands gathered to construct weapons. Isn't there a third one? Or is there like a tease? Yeah, there's a tease. There's no, there's no third one. It simply hints at the fact that there are like weapons out there that you can, you can use to combat these demons. We don't need these scrolls anymore, but I thought it was just interesting to have a little tidbit show up, because some extra information regarding the plot can't hurt. 
I think it's mini boss time. Yes. The bandit leader and his henchmen. Alright, boss time. This guy right here. Let's see, there's only four units, but they're kind of strong. As always, take care of the mage first. Gonna use everything we have. Power of the Almighty. Use Oak Skin. Target the Mage first and foremost. Cast Mage Bow. Stun. Great. You stunned Lawrence. Oh, I have to heal you. Yeah, Lawrence is asleep. Great. Um, I need to move you away. Ice ball! Yikes! Yeah. This mage is nasty. Wait, I have an item. Faith heal, major. Major heal. Thank you! Um, I could try to sleep you. I really want to get rid of this one mage. Then the rest should be relatively easy. Relatively. Stun again. Ah, he loves to stun my poor Lawrence. Oh, didn't work that time. Ugh. And that's where the that one skill comes into play. I think it's preservation. Resistance against status effects. Heal. Teleports. Well, that's not too bad. I gotta move, and I gotta heal, and we're gonna try this guy, I suppose. Move away. Uh, yep. Ugh. Go for the stupid mage. Pain. No, oh my gosh. Ugh. Uh. Uh, item. What do I have? Healing major. Yes. Major heal needed. Ugh. Get rid of the mage! Bone break is bad! Died. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> I'm stuck. Ugh. It's only four units, but they're quite mean. I can't reach that mage, or else I would. Jeez. 
aging. That's also bad. Kelsey died. Died of old age, literally. Uh. Well, that's a good thing I saved. If I don't win, I'll simply load and try this later. Mostly because of this stupid mage, though. The rest is not that hard. But, like I said, mages are hard to hit in this game. At least this early. But it looks like he's out of mana now. Can you please hit him? I'm getting out of here. Well, never mind. I only hit him once. Jeez. Ugh, okay. Mage down. Finally. Uh, you. Well, they're too close, so... All those annoying breaches, uh, bre breezes even. Jeez. As you can see, these guys, they don't hit as often as that mage. That mage was really a problem. Well placed strike, that's good. Jeez. I'm out of mana. In a I am out of mana, so I can't heal anymore. This is bad. Well, I have no. I lost my ranger. Okay, he's down. He's down. Two more, including the boss. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can nope. Didn't hit him. Well, I have to. I have to go attack. I can't really heal anymore. So and you as well, I guess. Which is kind of dumb, but... Uh, nope, go for the other guy first. Solid hit, that's good. Uh, yeah. Kala can't really hit anything, so there's no point. Just don't stay out of the way and don't get hit. He has minus nine, so he can't hit the broadside of a barn. <laughs> Okay, one more! One more! We might have some casualties, but we can still win, I think. Draws blood, good. Look at our round number! 30 rounds! 
30! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, one hit. I could check his HP with the Bart, actually. Let's do the Canticle of Beasts. And then Monster Lore. Oh, as you can see, he's about dead. Like, one-fifth left. So, a few good hits and we are done. Ah. Ah. We finally won. Good grief. Health dead. Yeah. Well, let's grab the loot and get out of here. Oh wait, I can't, because Kelsey is dead. And he's our thief. Ugh. I think once we grab this loot, and once we go back and save and such, I'm going to call it a day. Might be a good time to stop then. But first, I need to revive two of my comrades. And that's going to cost a bit of money, sadly. I hope I have enough money to revive them, actually. Well, you are good in trading, too. Oh, I have plenty of money. Okay. Heal, revive. 750, though. Those are some steep prices. So we don't want to see death too often early on. <sighs> Room. Yep. And... Ah! Yield. Mage has the best armor in the game. I only almost knew it was almost defense right. Yes, less is more. Only if you're female, Sadar. Only if you're female. Um, this way. Hello, dwarf. And yes, it is. Okay, now we can open the loot. Uh, yeah. Is there a trap on there? Nope. Is there a lock on there? Nope. Alright. Let's get some stuff back. White gem, shirt, and a scroll. Okay. Well, the white gem is a pearl, right? Oh, diamonds. Okay. Can sell that. Come on. It's just a shirt, my man. How hard can it be? Well, maybe it's a plus or a plus plus. Hence why it takes so long. Okay. No, it's just a regular shirt. Well, wait. Can you wear this? Okay, you have a... Never mind. Um, no, we can just sell that. Okay. Save for the scroll. Because... Uh, translate. Huh. Discover magic can sell that as a useless scroll. Okay, another chest. That's what I mean though, every time you fight you at least get a reward for it, which is nice. More money. Gem, gem, and boots are always boots. Boots can't be plus or plus plus, so... Large emerald. And a diamond. Just potions. Yeah, made by a single person. No, we only have uh, potions now. Hunter Pavagas. In fact, if you look, we have a ton of potions. 
but we need more identify. And here on the wall, we have the painting. Now, is there more on this? Okay, no, but this is the painting, so we can identify that. Painting of a woman. There we go. We're not done here yet, but I'm gonna deliver that painting. That should give us enough experience to get everyone to level 3. Which is gonna be helpful. Um, he was here. I have the painting right here. Excellent! You have done a wonderful job. I am very pleased. Now, for your payment, the book you seek is called Prophecies of Doom and is being kept by the priests at the Tallowin Monastery. The monastery is located about 60 miles to the north on a mountainside. Go there and ask the priests if they will give it to you. Here is a map showing the location. Thanks. So, if you use... If you use that map, it shows you where to go. Sorta! But that will make more sense when, once we can actually start uh, exploring the map. And I think... Yeah, we got enough experience. I think we can even level all of them. Well, except the ranger. Well, if we fight something outside, we get him as well. He needs like 200 XP. So, let's go level up some dudes and some dudettes. How much money do we have? Oh, uh, we have enough. And we can also sell some junk. I should actually sell that first and then we can up uh, level up some bit and then I'll stop for today. Uh, magic shop. Magic shop. Sell. Uh, summon staff, some diamonds, discover magic emeralds, small diamonds. Okay, shirts needs to be sold here. Makes sense, but not every store takes everything, so you can't sell everything to a single store. Like, imagine if you go to a store that sells beef and you offer them umbrellas or something. Don't think they'll take them. <laughs> Crafts Guild. Now this is kind of funny. Welcome to the Crafts Hall Guild. We will be glad to instruct you in the fine art of basket weaving or perhaps quilting is more to your liking. If assistance is needed, we can help. Well... <laughs> what guild in their right mind would tell them, Hey, we level thieves? No one, but this Basket Quilt Guild is actually the Thieves Guild, so that's where you level your thieves. <laughs> nice undercover, bro! Alright. Um... Ranger pa Okay, we can level... yeah. The mage right here... All of mages. Train you. Poof. Handheld, I guess. Fortifications, spell points, uh, spell list, attack evasion. Okay, you have runes. Let's go for scrolls on you, and let's go for identify on, um, on the bard. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Um. Also lore, so I don't really have anything else to put in. Detect tra traps, I guess. Unarmed. Alright. You want to learn chronometry? Or something else? I mean, try to learn chronometry. Mm. 
Merchant perk from Elder Scrolls, yes. Extreme underwater basket weaving, oh my. Chrono, yeah. Usually the good choice. Nope, failed to obtain. So, we have to take the exam again. Oh well. Temple of the Sun, train our healer. Uh, handheld, I guess. Fortification, spell points, attack evasion. He has one more list to get. Um, do, 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 do. um, I guess he can actually identify. He has decent skill in that. Book of Redemption. Nope. Sad. Okay. Because he has the highest. He has identified 30 at the moment. And he is 18. So, yeah. Runes 31. Okay, the mage is gonna get... Yeah, I think I know how to do this. Looking at stuff. Yeah, okay, I think I know how to do this. Okay. So, we're gonna give the Bart trading, because he has a spell to increase that. We're gonna give Marcus the identifier, and gonna give Kala the runes. So, Marcus will be our... identifier. A little bit of a shift in skills, but I think it's better. So Thomas trades, Marcus identifies, Kala reads runes, Kelsey just hits stuff now, deadly strike, and you shoot bows and you hit things with your sword and that's gonna be fine. I can try identify a little bit later, but right now I have to go to the Paladin Guild, which is up here. Also, if we find enemies on the way, I want to kill them, if we can, because Phosphorus needs like 200 XP to level. Well, I mean... We can try. Actually, no. Fighting in the woods is kind of annoying. I want to fight somewhere easier. But, let's go down here. And into the Protector's Guild. No, Protector's Guild. Yep. Train the Paladin. There you go. Handheld. Bow. Fortification, spell points. Attack evasion. Perception is okay. Unarmed. Um. Mountaineering in that, since he's in the lead. And. Check traps, I guess. Okay. Um, we now need to level the Bart? Yeah, the Bart and the Ranger, that's it. So, okay. Hopefully I can find something not that crazy hard. Need like... well... Uh, nope, it's the blue shield. Blue shield is bad. <laughs> that name, though. Okay, Entertainer's Guild. Train the Bard. So, yeah, he's gonna get trading. Handheld, bow, fortification, spell points, mythic lore, attack evasion, and he can actually learn Deadly Strike, which is interesting, but he has very low skill, so he's not gonna attack much with a sword anyway. So, perception... Um, I mean, I'll increase it a little bit, you never know. Okay, now we want to level up you. We need like 200 XP, so let's fight something easy. So like right around this city, like wolves or something, like in the open here. So save and walk around. Hello? Ah, well. Is it the blue one? No, it's not the blue one. Okay, we'll try this. Probably enough to level up our ranger and then we're good. Let's 
let's see if we can actually... Hymn of Inspiration. Oh, nice! That works already. That gives um, attack plus to the whole party. And then also, Power of the Almighty. It stacks. Yes, it does. Nearly took its head off. That's what you want to see. That's a good attack. Where is the mage? I can't see the mage. Oh, I attacked twice now, which is nice. I wonder... No. A stupid stun spell. Okay, I could try some new magic, maybe. Um, what do I have? Oh, domination. Oh, domination might be nice. Yep! <laughs> domination worked! He just killed his, his, his fellow man. So, yeah. And I have room for Mage Bow. Nope. Then I'll just slumber someone. Mental Jolt is painful. Please don't kill my Ranger again. The one guy I need alive. Uh, can I do... Faith Heal? Yeah. Nice upgrade heal. Ugh. Deadly Strike. Nice. That doesn't happen too often. Heal on you. Bom, bom. This mage up here. Thank you. Ah. The bard killed someone. That's a new one. Well, that should be enough. 200 XP? Yep, he has enough. Good. We can level our ranger and then go back and call it a day. So, oh yeah, pays for the fee, yes. And Marcus pays for the fee, um, uh, I mean, asks for the fee. And you have to pay them, like, every month. So, technically, if you take too long in the game, or don't have the money, they leave. And then you're kind of screwed. Oh, Orc War, no, 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 no. Run! Bandits, nope, this is the blue one. No, it's not, but still, nope. No thanks. I'm not in good shape. Right, let's go here. Outriders Guild, train. Boom. Uh, handheld. Bow. We want to level unarmed as well on him. Fortification, spell points, attack evasion, and perception, detect traps. And I guess Woods Lore. Alright. Everyone now level 3 and 4. Not bad. Not bad. Is there an inn up here? Yes. Good. Room? Yes. Okay, did I sell my stuff? I did. Okay. I have lanterns. Oh, yeah, we can try identify because we have a better identifier now. Yep, that worked. Red potion, I think, is heal. So we can give a red potion to Lawrence. So he can now heal himself a bit. Oh, healing potion for the Bart.
and green potion is mana. So we're giving that one to Kala. I think it's mana. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Brown is crap. We can just sell that. As you can see, one level makes a major difference. The identification is a lot better. Swirling is also crap. We can sell that. If anyone wants to buy it anyway. Like, some things don't even sell. Green. More mana. Um... I think, yeah, just get him to Kala, it's fine. He needs it the most. Safe and heal. And more healing potion for Kelsey. God, I had so many potions, didn't I? Swirling is crappy. Just taking care of these, I guess. Red. Um, let's get that to you. Okay, we're done. Red potion. You have a healing potion. Healing potion. Red potion and two green. Good. And let's save that. And let's head back. And once we're there, I have to stop streaming for the. Day. Oh, great! Yeah, a horde of evil creatures! No, 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 no! <laughs> We're not fighting giants and trolls! Please! Because we have to finish that other dungeon next time. Okay, I'm going to save that right here. Uh, pooling actually goes to you now. You're the trader. Trader. Oh, I need to sell these potions. Then I'm done. There is a potion shop, I think, here. Well, that works. They're not worth much. Brown. Swirling. Swirling. Okay. Earned a bit of cash. Okay, good. And I'm going to save and call it a day for now. Poof! Alright. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, guys. And yeah, I'm sorry for the songs getting stuck in your head. Don't worry, there's more where that came from. Although we did clear like one and a half dungeons out of 13. So it'll be like four, five or six streams to finish this game, I think. Depends. It kind of speeds up at the end, though. Don't worry. Don't be surprised if we actually make some major progress next time, because the beginning is slow, but later it gets a lot quicker. So, thank you all very much for watching, guys. Have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.